Welcome back. Uh, we're back here again, back at Morton Island. We've got the Navarro, we've got the jet ski hooked up, and we've got a beach house at Cowan Cowan for four nights. So, uh, if we're going to punch it down the beach, then we'll see you there. You. Yeah, buddy. You. <laughs> Moving the whole bar so I can get off. This guy's uh, doing himself a mischief here. Yeah, big show. Hey? Big show. Big Shane. show. Right, gotta get us off. Get the lads off. Gone MIA is front and center here. Pole position. Straight off on that hard sand, Shane. That's us. Thanks, mate. <laughs> She'll be right. That hard sand, Shane. Woo! Just move the whole barge so that I can uh, <laughs> get, get up on the, onto some uh, better sand. No, that'd be right. They had plenty of people there helping them out, so we'll just crack on, eh? We will. I'll launch you out there, bro. You can just zip zip down to Cow and Cow on the ski. Oh, we got a few things on. A few things on. Bit on. There we go, we just pulled into the uh, Cowan Cowan Beach House. Let's go up and take a look. Pretty close to the water here. That's the beach right there, so. <laughs> Not bad at all. Not bad, mate. Look at yeah, that. Right. Look how close to the beach we are. I'll tell you what, I did all right. I, I knew this house because I've driven past it before. So when I seen it online, I was like, yeah, that's the one. We'll grab that. And it is mint. Look at these little day beds here. So I'm going to start unloading. Um, and uh, yeah, let's get into it. What do you reckon, Chris? Winter? Lots country. <laughs> All right, so I've unpacked the fridge, got all my cold stuff out into the fridge in the house. Uh, and uh, just walking down the beach now. Beautiful afternoon. Couldn't have picked a better week. If anyone's uh, interested in booking this same house too, I'll put all the information in the, in the description. Ooh, very cool. Yeah, so I'm absolutely spent, so I've decided just to park up for the day and just enjoy the afternoon here at the beach at Cowan Cowan. Not a bad Sunday afternoon, that's for sure. First day of my uh, annual leave, two weeks holidays. What a way to start. Check this out. Alright, I'm going in for a dip. 
Get a bogey and get a tractor to help you out. Got to get this guy in the water. He's scared of the salt water, but we'll get him in there. Sea lice hate him. <laughs> Shall we? What's for dinner? Steak tacos, baby. Yeah. At your place. That's what's going on. Steak tacos at your place. Steak going, that's what's going down. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. That's us for today, guys. We're uh, just heading around to Chriso's house for some steak tacos, which is a few doors up here at Cowan Cowan. Uh, we'll have dinner, a few drinks, and we might get into bed early and try and uh, get up and uh, get around the island tomorrow morning. So. Show you some more uh, sights and uh, a little bit of fishing and a little bit of forward driving. morning I just had a coffee and I came for a walk down the beach just thought I'd uh, get some footage of this old wall bunker here so there's a couple of them here at Cowan Cowan and uh, they used to sit up on the dunes there but obviously over the years um, it's collapsed you see the other one down there. It looks amazing how nature's reclaiming them. See if we can get the GoPro in this window here. Anyway, just thought I'd uh, assess the weather. Not really sure what's going to happen. We've got that cyclone moving down the east coast. Uh, so, yeah, not sure how much good weather we're going to get, but might do a little bit of exploring today. Go for a bit of a drive around the island. Might go to the shop at Bulwara and pick up a few things. I've got to get some bait and some ice. And, uh, yeah. We'll see what the day brings. What's going on, lad? Huh? All right, just chucking some more uh, drinks in the esky. Got my favourite little uh, Mount Franklin sparkling waters. Filled up the esky with them, and uh, 
We're gonna go for a cruise. Alright, oh, no, we're sort of out here this year. Let's let's go. Got out here to North Point. Hang out here for a bit. Go and see uh, Champagne Pools up there on the rocks. Yeah, what a mint day for it. Just put the solar blanket out to recharge the battery a little bit. This is living, Barry. Massive cyclone swell coming off the ocean here. So that's Honeymoon Bay just around the corner there. I might take a walk over there a bit later and show you. I don't know if the GoPro does it justice, but this swell is massive. That is nuts. I'm not gonna get too close. I might even be able to see honey. Oh yeah, I'll be able to see Honeymoon Bay from here. If I walk up a bit further. Ah! Oh, g'day mate! How you going? <laughs> There's heaps of plaques up here. These people must have died on the rocks here. It's super dangerous over here. And there is no phone service, no one's coming to help you out if you're getting strife. So I'm just gonna keep my distance, but have a look at this. Woo! Woo! I'm gonna walk back down the side here and try and find somewhere to have a dip because it is mighty hot.
So just after I turned the GoPro off down there, massive wave come over those rocks and washed me about 20 meters down the rocks. My bag went way out. I had to go, I had to go swim and get it. Everything got wet, my keys, my phone, everything. The GoPro got washed away. Ah, so I grabbed all my gear and come for a walk up here to dry out a little bit. Yeah, just as I was telling myself, be careful Shane. Very dangerous here. Yeah. Anyway, Honeymoon Bay. I'm just gonna go for a walk down there. Into the bay there and then back over to the cars. What a beautiful spot, eh? All right, let's do it. Oh, it's hot. Oh, it's hot. How nice is this? I'm just walking back over to North Point where the cars are and try and dry out all my gear and uh, see what everyone's doing. If, we're, if we've got enough time, I might put the drone up, see if I can get some uh, footage flying around the point there. And uh, have a bit of lunch. So where are we heading now? Back to Cowan Cowan? Can we go past Bullwood Shop? We'll go past Bullwood Shop. Right, so we're just gonna head back to Cowan Cowan. Uh, stop in at Bullwood to go to the shop. That's how you close the passenger door. Uh, I got all my gear wet, so I'm all sandy. Phone's wet, keys are wet. Seats are wet, but hey, what a mint morning. Beautiful day. Copy that hyped up, returning to base to pick up passenger. Uh, North Point, North Point, just, uh, just confirming, uh, gone MIA, required to return to base to collect passenger. Copy that, hyped up, load too heavy, gone, MIA returning to collect passenger. Gone, MIA, you can collect from the right rear door. Collecting from right rear door, gone, MIA. Requesting to collect passenger. 
requesting confirmation of uh, which vehicle. Copy that. The eagle has left the net. Thank you. Passenger collected and uh, <laughs> commencing departure. Ski up. Let's go and uh, see if we can get to sing the water. This could be interesting. But uh, I'm real keen to get out there, so. I'm gonna give it a red hot go. Let's do it. Got there in the end. Spin around a bit and then I'll push it out. A bit of water under there. Oh, yeah, here we go. That's it. Go, you good thing. Get out there. Go, you good thing. Let's go. Oh, no, where's the key? Oh shit. No key. The key's in the truck. You're kidding me. Alright, hang on. Let's try that again. Shit. I may as well anchor it while I'm out here. Alright. I'm gonna get in the water, anchor it up. And then swim in, grab the keys. Yeah. Always do things the hard way, don't I? Hey? Always do things the hard way, Shane. Put the keys in the jet ski, Shane. Woo. We'll get there, we'll get there. We'll get there. Keys are in here, yes. Woohoo! We're doing it. Woo! We're doing it, baby. We're doing it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we're doing it. 
Come here, baby. Come on. Come to daddy. Oh. Holy cow. That was definitely the hard way. Woo. All right, pull the anchor up. It's a bit wet, but here we go. It has really calmed down this afternoon and turned out beautiful. So glad I got to ski out. I'm gonna, I'll bank it up here for a little bit. Just gonna go for a swim, put some more sun cream on and just enjoy this for a minute because this is amazing. Yeah. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm really enjoying myself. Mint day. Alright, I'm gonna head back around to Cowan Cowan, might anchor the ski for a bit and then hang at the beach for the rest of the afternoon. up of this clear water.
dolphins. Oh, how cool is that? Hey, buddy. Hey. Hey, buddy. Oh, hey. How cool is that? On both sides. Hey, buddy. How cool is that? So cool. Wow. Phew. What's going on? <laughs> I don't know if you can tell, but I'm really enjoying myself. Just cannot get better. Just got a call from one of our mates who's coming over in uh, another friend's boat tomorrow. So that'll be good. Another couple of peeps here. Um, Chris is going to take the jet ski out soon. So I'm going to put the drone up, get some footage before the sun goes down. Yeah, it's been an awesome afternoon. And then that'll be it. I think go go home and uh, have some dinner. Chill out. back on the trailer I'm gonna go put it in the driveway and uh, relax for the rest of the afternoon have a beer Whew. this is how close we are right Literally right there. Like 10 seconds from the beach, not even exaggerating. So good. Alright, let's park it up. Spent. I am spent. That was a massive day. I really enjoyed it though. And I think I've deserved 
myself a CC and dry. Cheers. How nice is it just coming back across the road from the beach? So good. Well, I'm going to do a little bit of this for quite a while. So, and then I'll uh, cook myself some dinner and have an early night, I think. So, we'll check in with you guys tomorrow. driving down the beach to Bulwa to go to the shop. I've run out of coffee, so uh, I'm gonna get some coffee and a, and a few things. And uh, then I'm gonna head back and uh, go and catch up with Chris and see what they've got planned for the day. I think we're just gonna chill around Cowan Cowan today. Um, we've got some other friends coming over from Redcliffe on their boat, so I think it might just be a relaxing day. Go for a fish, go for a swim out the front on the beach. And um, yeah, just enjoy the day. Cools this ice machine. Put the ticket in, it fills the bag with ice and it starts playing vanilla ice. up on uh, coffee and drinks the next couple of days. My Uber? It is. <laughs> Ready to roll, baby. Let's do it. All right, boy. So I get a day off driving today, Chris. Eh? Sure do, boy. Yeah, Uber, buddy. Uber pickup. What's for lunch, mate? Oh, I think there's sushi rolls on the uh, agenda. Serenity. It is.
go. If you want golf lessons, I'll put his number in the description. Just went for a swim and cooled off. And we've got a storm coming across the bay, so it's about to hit us in about half an hour. Just gonna sit sit on the dunes and watch it come across the bay. Hopefully it rains a little bit because it's so hot here today. Might cool it down a little bit. Good morning. So we ended up copping a lot of rain last night from the storm. Uh, yeah, it was quite heavy. So uh, it's a last day on the island today um, and might make use of uh, the rain making some of the trails nice and loam for, for four wheel driving. So I think we'll probably, probably go for a bit of a drive today. Um, not sure what the others have got planned yet. So let's get into it. I've just dropped some rubbish off to the bins and I'm going to go down to the beach and see how all this rain's affected those creeks. Well, this isn't on the driving beach but it's just at the cut in as you come out from Cowan Cowan. Look at it, all the fresh water's flowing back out. So that just shows you how much rain we got last night. Another little creek wash out here. Doesn't look too bad. I've just pulled up at the Bulwa Rex. Uh, I'll get out and get some footage of it. It's pretty windy out there, so I'll just get some footage and then I might head up a little bit further north.
pulled over here, just north of the Bulwar Rex, and uh, I just noticed another little one of the military uh, huts in here. So I'm going to see if I can have a look. been all barred up. It's certainly hidden away in here. This is where they would have had a view of any ships coming in the north entry of Morton Bay. Looking through here, I'm assuming there would have been guns or something. See if there's anything on the top. Oh yeah. <clears throat> yeah, there's a little platform up there. I wonder if I can get up. There you go. I'll see if I can put the GoPro through there so we can get a look. Yep, there we go. That's kind of cool little find. Anyway, I'll keep going up north. We'll have a bit of a look how the uh, how the wind's treating the beach up there. I've just pulled up to have a look at this freshwater lake here. Whew. That's beautiful. One of the best uh, freshwater swimming spots on the island, I reckon. Anyway, I'm gonna head over there and park up for a bit. Might even throw a line in. I'm gonna chuck a couple of lines in and uh, sit in the sun for a bit and enjoy enjoy this side of the island for an hour or two.
tide's starting to come back in, so I'm just heading back around the island, back to Bulwa. And uh, just thought I'd stop and rinse off in this little freshwater lake here. Might even run the truck through it and uh, give it a bit of a rinse underneath. Perfect. Freshwater, ocean. Freshwater, ocean. Uh, what's out? Uh, it's been a mint morning, or it's just on lunchtime now. It's been an awesome day up here in the north. And uh, yeah, stoked that we've got good weather again. Really got lucky with that cyclone going past down the uh, east coast. <laughs> so I've got Chris, Chris and Shell with me now. We're gonna go back down to Bulwa, maybe go on one of the inland tracks and uh, go for a bit of a drive now that all the tracks are nice and low from the rain. So nice to drive on after a bit of rain. Just settles it all down. It's real nice. Stopped off at the shop at Bulwa again just to grab some more ice. Fill up the esky. Ended up getting some lunch at the shop there. Some calamari and chips. And uh, we decided we're going to go make the most of uh, these loamy trails and go out to see uh, Honey Eater Lake. Go for a drive out there, have a quick look and then uh, we'll head back to Cowan Cowan.
the beach. So we just come for a quick look at Blue Lagoon. Uh, we're not going to stay here long because the tide's coming in real quick. Yeah, I was thinking about it. How nice is it back over here? Well, this is our last day here on the island, guys. Uh, we're just going to hang around Tangaliwa Rex for the day and uh, do some snorkeling, some fishing, and uh, yeah, then we're going to jump on the barge at 3 o'clock. So, thanks for tuning in, guys. Um, uh, stay tuned, make sure you like and subscribe, and uh, we'll see you on the next video.